Sometimes during the Christmas season, Kayla will make little treats like this one, and she'll make them for different Christmas parties or different Christmas events, and she'll make them to take to other people, but I'll ask her, hey, can you save some of that, don't take everything, and instead save some for us to be able to eat? Well, in Deuteronomy chapter 4, uh, he's going to say this idea, he's going to say, seek God with all your heart and with all your soul, right? In, in other words, give God everything. Now, when we think about giving God everything, sometimes what comes to my mind is this idea of like, you know, being on the football field where you're trying to muster up all your strength and you're trying to dig down for some sort of extra strength to be able to give it all over. And so seeking God is about trying to dig deep and give him more. But what it's really saying is, is to give God everything is about giving him everything you got and not holding some of it back. Right? And there's portions of our lives where we might do this, where we'll say, God, I trust you in this area of my life, but I'm going to take care of this one. Or, or, or Lord, I'll give this over to you, but I'm going to hold on to this one. And, and so today, as we look into Deuteronomy, I'd love to challenge you to evaluate your own life and say, is there anything I'm holding back from God? And what can I be doing to give this over to him, to be trusting him with this area? And so in doing so, you might seek God with all your heart, with all your soul.